Hi, I'm Roxanne Moore, Registered Dietitian and Director of Wellness for Sodexo Schools. Maintaining hydration and preventing glycogen depletion are two reasons why athletes need nourishment during activity. Glycogen is how the body stores carbohydrates in the liver and the muscles. As athletes exercise, they use sugar in their bloodstream for energy. Then they start breaking down the glycogen in their muscles and liver for more energy. Eventually, all the energy sources would be gone if the athlete did not consume some carbohydrates via what they eat or drink. An athlete's performance will begin to fail or possibly cease at the point when their glycogen stores become severely low or depleted. This is more typical of someone exercising really hard for more than 90 minutes. An endurance athlete's body can only be fully ready for the next workout or game if glycogen, as well as their fluid stores, are completely replenished. Endurance athletes, or those who exercise for more than 90 minutes, should take in about 30 to 60 grams of carbs every hour. This equates to roughly 120 to 240 calories. This amount can be obtained either from carbohydrate-rich foods such as fruits, grains, and liquid meals, or even sports bars, drinks, and gels. A few examples of foods that provide about 30 grams of carbohydrates include a large banana, four graham crackers, 10 crackers, two large pretzels, half of a large bagel, a cereal bar, a cup of sports drink, or even a cup of dry, low-fiber cereal, as well as even half of a carbohydrate-rich sports bar. During day-long events, snack on high-carb, low-fat foods such as crackers, bagels, rice cakes, orange slices, apples, bananas, dried fruits, cereal bars, dry cereal, granola, or even fig newtons. Athletes should eat before they feel tired or hungry, usually within 30 to 60 minutes into exercise. Consuming small amounts at frequent intervals will help keep the carbohydrate stores stocked and help prevent stomach upset. Some athletes tend to take a break and consume volumes of food before restarting their exercise. You tend to feel less weighted down and your body stays ready to move if you can take shorter breaks and consume smaller volumes of food. So instead of a whole sports bar, try breaking that bar into pieces and pop a piece in your mouth every 20 minutes. What is eaten during exercise is critical for keeping an athlete moving. As always, athletes should train with different foods before heading into competition. Nothing is worse than having an unexpected reaction to food during competition.